guys i'm going to be bringing you my october 2014 anime pickups all things i got for the month of october all right let's get on to it so first i got me a little cube plushie like madoka magica dead man wonderland volume four uh, really been liking uh, what Viz Media is doing with these mangas, manga reprints. Uh, I did watch the anime. Um, I did like it a little bit, but it left me with this empty feeling because uh, it had to read the whole manga ending. So I really didn't feel satisfied in the long run. So I'm reading the manga and right now I'm enjoying it, but I noticed something that I didn't see. Uh, in the anime, I don't recall them showing that she was Red Man after she defeated her grandfather because I've been watching it and I think I would have known it. But when I was watching it on Netflix, I don't know if that was like a deleted scene because they showed it and I had read Volume 3 and it showed it too. And I did not remember them showing that in the anime at all. And I did pay attention so if anyone can confirm if that was um in the the broadcast version of dead man uh please let me know because right now i know i know i paid attention to the anime when it was showing then i got attack on titan volume 12 good manga finished it loving it Attack on Titan of uh, Volume 13. This one was good. It was kind of slow. Like, you didn't really deal with any Titans in it. It was kind of inner strife within the walls. But, you know, decent. Uh, Attack on Titan Before the Fall. I actually like this one. These are not by Hajime Isayama. It's actually by a different person you can see right here. Who is by... And I actually liked it, but I thought like some of the characters were dumb. Like pretty much everyone who they thought he, they they say he is the son of a titan. But in order to be a son of a titan, a titan have to give birth to you. He was inside of a woman who was already pregnant who got eaten by a titan, and the titan didn't eat her all the way and spat her out, and the body basically gave birth during death so he they called her they called him the son of a titan which makes no sense no he's a regular human his mother was pregnant and even though she died he was still birth that does not make him a son of a titan and i felt like everybody in damn damn manga was dumb and they freaking enslaved him for that nonsense made no sense and uh, Attack on Titans No Regrets, this one about Levi, I kind of like what it's um, showing, but it wasn't not that great, like, it wasn't not too impressive, maybe it will pick up in the next volume, so I'm gonna get volumes 2 of this one and Before the Fall, and uh, decide if I want to keep buying them, because um, I see it has potential, some people don't like it, but I see the potential with it, and then Naruto 65, Edo Kage Revival. That was that was one of the most biggest um, moments for me in Naruto during that time when I saw all of them got revived. Because when they got revived, I thought, Madara, you're in for an ass whooping. You have fourth, first, second, and third. You're done. But those of us who already finished it knows what happened. Um, and I had got the newly released... Um, volume 67 I don't have like all of them like I'm getting um, piece by piece and then I saw this one so I like the cover too so I had to get it but uh, soon I'll finish my little Naruto collection and then I got Bleach volume 4 I get on my Bleach volume 6 volume 11 and volume 12 and then I got One Piece, volume 70, the beginning of the Dress Rosa arc, 71, 
and 72. I'm trying to get on my One Piece. I got a long way to go to get all my One Piece manga. And then um, last thing I got was like um, some hentai. This is a doujin. I'll open that. You know, don't want to get banned off YouTube. And uh, this one. Don't know is well, you know what they're called, but um, this actually costs 30 bucks. And I can see why the quality of the like the way the book feels, the way it feels, and the quality in the pages are really really good. Like compared to like these average manga, like touching like Attack on Titan and One Piece, like, this feels way better. It's thicker and it's heavier, and uh, the feel of it just feels way better. So I can see why it costs way more than um, any of these mangas. And um, I got more things to show you. Just uh, give me a minute, a minute, and I'll show you. Okay, these are some also figures I had gotten. I had got this uh, Asuna Undying figure, and I'm loving it. Like I, this was a figure that I wanted for a while. I was like, I have to get Asuna in her little fairy form, and then I had got uh, the Asugaha Kiragaya figure. I actually got it for not a bad price. I got it for like $90, $90. and then I've been looking online, and I see it going for like one fifty-five, like hundred plus. So getting it for ninety, not bad. And uh, I got me my saber, Andrew Fates the Night Wedding version, and got me like, my Super Sonico. Figure as well. I want a Super Sonico. I love Super Sonico. Like every time I see her figures, I have to buy them. Like I think I'm most likely going to get her figures out of any uh, other figures. And then I got me a cool Nickel mug. I've been drinking tea and coffee out of this, enjoying it. And then I got me a Trafalgar Law sword. Sword. I love it. It was like one thing I had to get to. Loving this sword. Lol, he's a beast. Also with his hat, you know, you can't have a hat. All I'm missing is like a jacket or a sweater, whichever version I plan to do. And there's more things I have to show you. So I have got some more art prints. The art prints I got was the jury one, Yoko, and this one. This was my favorite. Uh, art print I got the guy who made it he signed it for me you know so they all signed their the artworks but I love this one the most and um I got me a Haru Haru Haruko Fuli Puli wall scroll I love this wall scroll I could have got something like more itchy based but I just saw uh, um Fuli Puli and I love Haruko and I saw like like, um, the way it looks, it just looked way better, like, it, looked, it was like one of the best wall scrolls that I saw, so, pick this one up, and I also got a Mika, Takanashi, um, wall scroll, this one was expensive, it was $35, but it's the longest wall scroll that, um, uh, and that pretty much wraps it up for my anime pickups. If you like what you saw, let me know, rate, comment, and subscribe, and tell me about any pickups you got. You know, sustain the industry, you know, all that good stuff, support your favorite anime and manga publishers and all that stuff. Alright guys, later.